Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate mouth movements in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, now as you can see I have already a character on the screen and in fact this is uh, from my latest cartoon, uh, a parody of The Godfather. So, as you can also see, I haven't drawn a mouth for him yet. That's because I want to show you guys uh, how to do that. So first we are going into the layer of the character, right here. And we are going into the head layer, right here somewhere. And we are going to make a bone layer for it. And we are calling it mouth. Then I'm going to make a new vector layer and I call it mask. And I will put it inside the mouth layer. <clears throat> so I will zoom in a little bit more for it. Um, then I will take the draw shape tool and I will choose the oval shape. Uh, make sure auto stroke is selected and make sure the color of the line is black or whatever you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I changed the line width to 2. And uh, the color of uh, this color doesn't really matter. Uh, so we are going to draw a shape right here. And I will adjust it. I will adjust the points like this. So it will look like a mouth. And I take the curvature tool to make these points uh, sharper so I click on it hold my mouse and I move to the left so it will look like this put the points a little bit like this there we go so now he has a mouth so now uh, to make it a little bit more realistic I also want to create lips so I make a new layer for that and I call it lips and for that I take the eyedropper tool and with that I select the skin color but I'm going to make the color a little bit darker because it's the lips and I want it the lips has to be a little bit more darker than the skin color so I take the add point tool and I'm going to make points right here then I will select it and then I will go to edit copy edit and paste or control C and control V and then I will click on this button and it will flip and I will put it right here and then I will, and then I will adjust the points there we go so now that we've uh, drawn the lips we are going to make a new layer underneath the lips layer and we are calling it mouth make sure it's above the mask layer and for that we are going to take the draw shape tool again um, choose oval and choose color black and then I will draw a shape right here um, this may look a little, little bit weird but it will be clear within a minute so then I'm uh, take uh, the color red uh, make sure I deselect auto stroke and I just draw a red oval right here and put it a little bit under right here then I take uh, the rectangle shape choose the color white and I draw a rectangle right here uh, take it with transform points tool I type in control C control V so I copy and paste it and put it under right here a little bit behind the lips like this so now that we have done that we are going to double click on uh, the mouth layer or, or yeah the mouth layer and we are going to masking and we click hide all so now several things have changed um, first I'm going to make the lips invisible I'm going to focus on that in a minute um, so what you see is uh, the mask layer and if you take the points right here 
you see it a little bit better you see that the what's on the mouth layer is inside of the mask layer so it's like the mask layer has become a hole where you can look through and then you see everything that is inside the mouth layer and that way you basically have a you, re you really have a mouth with uh, a hole and inside of that uh, the teeth and the tongue and everything behind it um, <clears throat> so that's uh, where this is for and this is really uh, easy to make a mouth and uh, one thing that we also are going to do is we going to double click on mask and we click on exclude strokes so that way uh, the, the stroke itself become vis becomes visible but if you open it you see the mouth so um, back to the lips um, the lips um, for that we have to double click and we have to go to masking and we click on don't mask this layer and that way the lips become visible again so now uh, we have created uh, a mouth that where we can create mouth movements for so now that we have done that we are going to the head layer and make sure that the head layer is a bone layer and we are going to draw a bone so we are going to take the add bone tool and we are going to draw a bone right here we hold the mouse and you draw it right here then you take the bone strength tool and you hold your mouse again and you reduce the strength like that because that's what we want then if you click on this right here we go to bone constraints and you click angle constraints and then we are going to name the bone and we will name it mouth then we go to window and we go to actions and we are going to create an action by clicking right here and we call it mouth just as the bone now you see that the timeline has become blue so now what we are doing we are going to move this bone to the left uh, on frame one and everything that we animate now on frame one uh, will be inside the movement of the bone so when we go back to the main line and you move the bone to the left the animation that we make here will be uh, created when we move that bone um, I'm going to show you how to do that so we start with the mouth of course and then we have to go back to the mouth layer and we start with the lips and make sure everything is animated on frame one just as the bone so um, we take the select points tool and we click on lasso mode and we just select the points here above and we take the transform points tool and we move them like this just a little bit and then we add the other points make sure that it's from the lips the lip above there we go so now we can do the same thing for the lip down below a little bit higher maybe I should use less mode as well go and then we put it right here of course you have to make sure that these points will stay at the same place and adjust it a little bit like this so then we start with the mask layer and that's uh, these points right here we just move them like this and like this so that way the mouth is, uh, becomes visible and that way it really looks like a mouth so we need to correct the teeth and the tongue as well so we just move them a little bit right here so that they just like that and the tongue right here so now if you would look from frame 0 to frame 1 this is what you get and this is what we want so now we are going to uh, 
animate the rest of the face because when you make a mouth movement uh, mostly the some of the rest of the face will move with it so we are going to do that also so let's start with the wrinkles and with the wrinkles is uh, these lines right here the let's do that right now first we start with this one oh these like lasso mode and move them just a little bit like this and adjust them so maybe move this one a little bit more like this and this one as well there we go and now also these lines a little bit like that and then now we have done those lines we are also going to uh, adjust the face a little bit which is this one right here um, we are going to select these points right here and we are going to move it just a little bit down below not too much just like that so like this and if you noticed well you see that the light and the shadow doesn't uh, it's not right anymore with the face so we have to adjust that as well so we go to the light and shadow layer and we are going to adjust that so now it looks like this it also it already looks a bit better so finally I'm also going to animate the mush mush dash a little bit so now it looks like this and I think that this is good this is uh, a it's kind of like a realistic mouth movement so if we go back to the main line and we are on the head layer and we take the manipulate bones tool and you move it to the left you see you get this movement just as we have done and so that way you can create uh, these mouth movements so if you would go to frame one for instance and you would go to file and import audio file you can import a audio file I've made this one for the animation and then you can uh, go to the frame where the audio starts and go to the head layer and you take this bone you click one time so a keyframe is created and you move three frames further and you move it to the left you see that it's moving from here to there and you go three fr frames further again and then you put it back and then you can go endlessly with this just copy and paste it so that way you can make him talk so that's how you create movements that's how you can create mouth movements and if you want to do it even better you can uh, create different bones uh, for different mouth movements like a mouth movement like uh, when he says O or M or P A whatever so uh, which means you create different bones for each mount um, and which also means that it takes a lot of more work to do to animate and to create but it will make it a bit more realistic so that's something to consider about so yeah try it out and see what works best for you so yeah anyway that's uh, about it that's the end of this tutorial i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it um, if you have any more questions leave them in the comments below so anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, i hope you find this helpful if you like this video please subscribe for more i make new tutorials every week on wednesday i also make my own animations i will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well thanks for watching guys